I have to say that the traditional ways of warming up on snare drum that we're all taught, first page of stick control, PAS snare drum rudiments, those are all things that really don't work for me to get better at snare drum. My warm up seems to be completely different from the traditional ways that other people warm up. I wanna to talk to you about how to set up your snare drum warm up so that you actually start making progress and getting through chops challenges, technique interruptions where you're playing along in your music and something hard comes up and it interrupts you from being able to move past it. Today we'll talk about the three tiered snare drum warm up that you should be working on every day. And I actually made a PDF about this called how to warm up on snare drum and you can get that at robnopper.com slash snare warmup. So we talked about last week how when you're playing something like Delaclue's one and you're working on that extreme dynamic change with the crescendo roll into the accent, into the soft rough, this outrageous crescendo buzz roll, or if you're working on tambourine, you're working on the Mahler three thing with all the intricate soft playing. And at the end of that day, I actually felt a little bit more comfortable. The way that I got better at that was not by working on those sections, it was by choosing the isolated motions, the single motion of playing a role all by itself and working on all the creative ways I could vary my grip and where I'm playing on the instrument. That is what has worked for me when I'm trying to overcome stuff. My warm up has to start with the actual individual isolated motions that make up our snare drum play. And if you look at any snare drum music, Delaclues, the excerpts, Tompkins etudes, any of the rudimental stuff even, you take it apart, there's only three stroke types that we do. We do singles, we do buzzes, and we do doubles. Those are the three. We do them at all the dynamics, and we do them with different touch, and the buzzes have different shape. Sometimes we wanna play them flat, crescendo to the second one, but basically, there are three stroke types. You can't focus on all those minuscule details about each of those stroke types when you're working on complex combinations like flam accents and paradiddles and stuff like that. Your warm up needs to start with you addressing each of those individual stroke types by themselves and working on those variables, those different ways to play them so you can get used to all of the different varieties, how to hold on to the sticks, how to shape each of those notes and how to mess with the tone and the touch and the placement on the drum. The first tier of your warm-up always needs to start with the basic stroke types. After that, then you can work on the next step of putting them together. That is the second level of basic motions that we have to do on snare drum. The way you hold the sticks and the motion that you use to play a buzz is super different from a single or a double. So you have to work on the actual moment of transition from a double to a buzz, from a single to a double, from a single to a buzz, and vice versa. There's six of those combinations of stroke type transitions. And as you're working on those isolated transitional moments, think about all the variables of your grip and the angles and the motion and the ways you can play those motions differently. That is the basis of your snare drum playing. Those are literally the building blocks of what make up all your music. So that's what has to be in your warm up. The third tier of stuff that you work on in your warm up is basically combinations of what you worked on before. Whatever technical stuff is coming up in your music that you're having trouble with, if it's that part of Delaclues, if you're working on Lieutenant Kiji, four stroke roughs are a perfect example. Take anything and boil it down to the individual motions that make up that difficult technique. And don't work on the technique yet, don't work on the combinations yet. Start with working on each of the individual motions and getting super comfortable with each of the doubles in a four stroke rough before you start putting them together. That is the three tiered snare drum warm up that helped me become proficient enough to take auditions and to record Delaclue's etude so that I could feel like I wasn't worried about the technical limitation. All I had to think about in the music was music, was phrasing and inflection and character and giving the listener a good experience while they were listening. Anyway, I'll be back at you with how to warm up on some different instruments, but for now, download that PDF called How to Warm Up on Snare Drum. It's at robnopper.com slash snare warmup, and I will see you guys in the next video.